In this tutorial, we are going to cover how to set up a responsive audio player for your single track MP3s and WAV files. So here is the default theme project. If I go into edit mode, right now I'm working with a styled text page. Um, so the first place I'm gonna go to is Rap Weaver format. Sorry, you can't really see this very well. I'm going to go to Rap Weaver view and show site resources. So right now I have no resources loaded for this project, but I'm going to add one. I'm going to add my example uh, sound file. It's guitar.wave. So now that's been added to the resources, I'm going to close this now. And then I'm going to copy and paste the code snippet used to generate the audio player. When I first copy and paste this snippet, I'm going to highlight it, and then I'm going to go to Format, and then Ignore Formatting. It's going to turn pink. So right now when I preview this, still not much of anything really pops up. It's because I haven't uh, linked to the actual resource file in the code. So I'm going to go right in between. There's two kind of bubble brackets. And now I'm going to type in guitar, whoops, I got to spell it right, guitar.wave, just like that. And now when I preview, it is being generated on the page. And I can play it at the same time. And that is how you set up single track responsive audio players. Now you can make multiple, multiple of these on a page. If I wanted to go like this. And uh, if you let this pink stuff uh, go out, it's not going to uh, skip lines. So we go like that. There we go. Now we have three audio players. All right, that concludes this tutorial.